In this video, we um, have already looked at geometric sequences and we've looked at rules for basic geometric sequences. Now we're going to actually learn about how geometric sequences work um, and applications for them, particularly compound interest and reducing balance um, depreciation. So to start with, let's just recap on what we know about um, geometric sequences. So we know that the, um, the recurrence relation looks like this. So T0 is your initial term, or T1 if you've already started the sequence. Um, and then Tn plus 1 is equal to R, the common ratio, times Tn. And common ratio was what makes it a geometric sequence. So the fact that every single time in the sequence, the same... Um, value of r is being used okay so if you get the next number in the sequence just times r again um, now in compound interest which you'll have learned in year 11 um, the formula for compound interest you um, start with the recurrence relation sorry you start with the principle which we call v0 and to find out the next value in the time period the next value in the sequence you get the rate um, over 100, add add or subtract from 1, so for compound interest it would be add 1, for depreciation you take away the R over 100, and then times that by the term. So you end up multiplying every time by this multiplier here. Okay, this is the multiplier. And the biggest job in most of the questions is working out what the multiplier is and then applying it enough times. Okay. And that will get you the next one in the sequence. Um, and that's basically how we use geometric growth in this example. So let's just look for a second at what different values of the multiplier will do. So if we have a value um, of r equals 3, um, we would expect that every single time that's going to multiply by 3. So if we just generate that sequence here on the CAS, so you go menu, data, generate sequence, and we're going to say un is equal to 3 times un minus 1. Starting with the initial term of um, 1, and we can do it for uh, 5 terms, say, so, so from the 1 to the 5th term. Okay, and you can see here, we'll call this sequence A. Okay, and you can see here it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, for sequence B, we're going to make um, the initial term 8 and the multiplier as 0 0.5. So menu, data, generate sequence. So we're going to do 0 0.5 times u n minus 1. Initial term is 8, and we're going to do 1 to 5 again. And you can see here how the number gets smaller every time. So in fact, the value of R really, really... Um, is important with what the geometric sequence does. So I've done a couple of example ones here um, where I've put um, R is above 1, below 1, so uh, 0 0.5 I think I used, um, negative and below 1, and then negative and above 1, so as in like bigger than negative 1 and smaller than negative 1. And if I plot those here, so if we go above 1, so this is where the ratio is 2, you can see it goes straight up. Okay, um, I'm just going to snip to all that and add it to the notes. Um, if we change it to below 1, you can see it's the exact opposite. So it just drops down and eventually flattens out. If we go negative and above net 1, so this is minus 2 now, you can see that what happens is the value goes above and below 0 every time because if you times by a negative number, you, t you change the sign on the number every time. So it actually uh, will zigzag along like that. Lastly, if we go negative and between 0 and minus 1, it zigzags but the other way. So it starts off big and it gets gradually gets a smaller and smaller number and every time the sign keeps flipping. So I've tried to summarize that um, in these two statements here. So 
When r is greater than 1, we can use that to show geometric growth. Okay, so let's just recap what that looks like. So this is above 1 now. So that's growth in a geometric way. So it goes up and up and up and steeper and steeper gradient. And when r is between 0 and 1, it shows geometric decay. And these are the two applications that are important for um, finance. So this is um, an example of geometric decay, and you can see it flattens out as it gets lower. Okay, so this would be for compound interest. And this would be for reducing balance depreciation. And in my next videos, I'm going to go through each of those in turn.